everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet 2. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna make another habitat here in Future Life Asia. It will be for the Binturong and the Proboscis monkey. And it was because they fit very nice into uh, with the Indian rhino and the Indian elephant right next to them. And I just thought that putting them in here would give great opportunity to have some climbing uh, trees they can climb up in and therefore you would be able to see them up from the restaurant also. We won't build that much today since we already have the house they can go into. We will build a pool for the proboscis monkey since they are the most aquatic monkey in the world so of course they need somewhere where they can swim around and we will also make a very small octa caging to the bridge but first of all we're gonna build the wall here and i know the sign of this wall don't fit in that much with this habitat and everything else around but i promise you when it comes to this saturday's build you will see why i choose these very rough colored for this fence and uh, it will be climb proof as far as i remember with these wood pieces and if you don't have them then it's because you don't have the safari prop pack uh, which is a mod by nicholas line rider and if you want to see more of it i have a video of it in my prop mod uh, play playlist today's video is pretty short and we have two animals to talk about today so i'm gonna skip most of the facts because both these two animals have some funnier things about them and i just want to focus on that instead so i hope that's okay with you and why don't we just start with the tail of the binturo looking at it it doesn't seem that weird but it is actually one of the only two along with the king Kajus, uh, which are the only two carnivores that will be animals that only eat meat who have a prehensile tail now i had to look up prehensile to know what it means so if you don't it means that they can grab and hold themselves up in their tail so they use them to navigate around in the trees which i actually think it's weird that there are only two species because i thought many monkeys do but most monkeys also eat other things than meat such as berries uh, acorns and so on so it makes sense uh, i just think it's kind of a weird thing so we gonna take uh, that on our fun uh, list of info about the binturo if you go by a been too wrong habitat at some point and get a craving for popcorn that really isn't that weird because uh, Venturongs have this sin gland which are placed under their tail which produces a scent and we know these kind of scent producing glances from other animals such as skunk and so on but the Venturong have a nicer scent because it just smells like popcorn so if you ever smell that next to a Vatorong, you know it comes from their butt. And this can both come from the males and females, though they do also have four extra glands, which are placed on their paws. These paws they actually use to rub the smell into their legs, since they both use the smell to warn off enemies, but also to attract the opposite sex. And I know when it comes to the proboscis monkey, we are going to talk about attracting the opposite sex. But I never knew that the Bitturong also have a kind of weird attraction thing going on here. But uh, yeah, rather a smell than a nose, if you ask me. It must smell nice anyway. It smells like popcorn, so let's go for it. When it comes to a lot of Asiatic animals, they have not only names like lion, kangaroo and so on, but a lot of animals have names that mean something in other languages. And it is possible that Binturong also means something like 
um, long-tailed animal since the tail is as long as their entire body or a popcorn smelling thing uh, but we will never know actually since the language the Venturong name originated from is lost in time to be honest so we will probably never know if Venturong means something or if it's just a name and when it comes to name there are actually also some places called bear cat which are quite confusing since it's actually also a name for the red panda and i think most people can tell the difference between a red panda and a beturong but apparently they share this nickname of bear cat the Venturong used to be quite common both in Bangladesh, Bhutan, Cambodia, China, India, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Nepal, Philippines, Thailand and Vietnam. But nowadays they are quite rare and because of that they are so rare at this point that we actually don't have a number on them. Therefore the IUCN red list have listed them as vulnerable and they do still keep an eye on them to make sure that it don't become too worse um, but their numbers are still decreasing drastically but let's talk a little bit about proboscis namangis and um, next section isn't necessarily um, child approved so please keep an eye on that and if you see this in a room with children either make a decision if they should hear it or use your headphones to be honest because we are gonna talk about their nose the male proboscis monkey are very famous from their noses and the size of their nose is actually what attracts the female since they do live in these beautiful foresty areas and they are very various harems with each a male living at far enough so they can see each other but they can hear each other and the male will make a very distinctive noise where he will use his nose to amplify the noise the bigger the nose the deeper the voice and the louder the voice now you would think that why would that attract anyone that a male just yells loudly but the thing is the bigger the nose the bigger the body the bigger the body the bigger testicles ergo the bigger the testicles better chance of getting pregnant yeah so yeah i tried to formulate a child proof but i did warn you so basically the males stand up yell the female here oh me bigger man over there i'm gonna move over in his harem the males can choose to fight and they do have these giant canines so they can actually fight but they rather don't if they can um make sure that they don't so they also use their nose to yell at each other to warn each other so they can hear Oh, the male who steals all of my females is clearly bigger than me. I don't want to fight him. Or that uh, the male over here is trying to take my females and I clearly bigger than him. So I gonna fight him. I know I mentioned all of this before on my channel, but I just find this very funny, to be honest. To pick a man based on the size of his nose or more specifically on how big his nose sound. And it get even list child approved now. Again, warning, so it's not my fault if you turn hear this. But basically, the proboscis monkeys always run around with as, at least a semi boner because it's just hanging out there all the time. You have various different ways of doing this. It can be completely stiff. This is only when he's mating, not uh, to lead up to it but when he's actually using it for its intended pur uh, purpose but it's also when it's he's going to fight another male it's like they start with the yelling they meet up they yell off each other some more and then they get hard on yeah and if that doesn't scare the, uh, the other male away then they fight so 
oh sorry uh, another thing canine so it's yelling meet up see each other hard on show off your canines and then fight <laughs> yeah that could be called a cock fight <laughs> But they also have other ways of showing it around. It can also be just like itch inching. So I'm gonna itch it a lot and it's gonna be semi erect. It can also just be that he's eating and feeling go good about himself, but it will always be out. It can dangle just loosely dangle down but it will always be up which i find very funny and to be honest when you go to a zoo it is one of the things you see a lot on different animals and everyone who have had a teenage male horse also knows that period of their life where it's just hangs loose all the time so uh, yeah i'm glad humans don't do that Today I actually only use animalia.bio for the information of the Binturo. To talk about the proboscis monkey, I saw a YouTube doc by CFrank1. It's linked below and it's called True Facts Proboscis Monkey and he even shows it all and um, elaborate on the different kinds of erections of the proboscis monkey. I know I've been talking way too long again, and uh, I will be like back in a minute or two.
Okay guys, it seems like we are here. I know the cinematics probably was a little bit bumpy today. Uh, we are running really low on those frames uh, and that's because this is simply too big for my computer. We only have two habitats left and remember not this Saturday but next Saturday I'm gonna make a live stream where we're gonna go and visit every single habitat that I built in this zoo. Uh, so far and of course the video will be up afterwards if you can't see it when I am live But if you want to join that that would be so awesome and uh, Yeah, you know the real guys like subscribe and turn on the below notification So, you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again either in the comments below or in the next video Bye guys